Tonight's training is about compensation and promotion guidelines. So this is actually a part of the fast track or the jumpstart school. First, we should appreciate bakit ba magandang negosyo ang financial industry. So sabi nila, money business is the best business. If we have a business, consider natin kung sino yung magiging market natin or gaano kalaki yung magiging market natin. And I think almost everyone, almost every person could be our market. So tatanungin natin sarili natin, sino ba sa mga kakilala natin ang gusto magkaroon ng ipon? Sino sa mga kakilala natin ang gusto walang utang? Or sino sa mga kakilala natin ang gusto may additional na pagkakakitaan? Or sino sa atin um, ang may kakilala na gusto ng investment or savings? So the answer to all of those questions is yes. So meaning... If you are on the money business, lahat pwedeng maging prospect natin. Lahat pwedeng maging member or lahat pwedeng maging kliyente natin. Unlike if you sell something, like example lang, no? Um, like if you sell glutathione, pwedeng limited na kaagad yung market mo kasi may mga tao na gusto, dark sila or tan yung complexion nila, right? Unlike in our business, um, halos lahat gusto magkaroon ng ipon. Halos lahat gusto wala silang utang. Or halos lahat gusto magkaroon sila ng additional na pagkakakitaan. So, sabi nila, kung food business ka naman, it gets spoiled. Pwedeng um, one day, or kung may karinderya ka, at most two days, baka sira na yung, sira na yung pagkain na tinitinda mo. Ang hirap naman kung ipifreeze kasi uh, hindi natin alam. Baka kahit i-freezer yan, after a week, baka may mikrobyo na yung isi-serve natin na pagkain. So, mas malaki pa yung magiging problema. Fashion business, di ba? 30 years ago or 50 years ago, balikan natin sa mga pictures or sa mga videos yung suot ng mga lolo at lola natin. Hindi na siya pwedeng ibenta ngayon or hindi na natin nakikita ngayon. So, when we are into fashion business, it can get out of, of fashion. And so, we say, money doesn't get rotten or spoiled. So, wala kang inventory na aalalahanin. Kasi, di ba, ang pera, ilagay mo lang dyan, i-invest mo, uh, nakabakasyon ka, natutulog ka, it continuously, it continuously works for you. nag interest lumalago. And money doesn't go, go out of fashion. I cannot remember a time or even fast forward na ang pera hindi na natin kailangan or ang tao magkaka mawawala ng interest sa pera. And money is always in demand all the times. Diba? Lahat ng aspeto ng buhay natin, lahat ng stages ng buhay natin, lahat ng events ng buhay natin, andyan palagi ang pera. So the opportunity to do this business also means lahat ng stages ng buhay ng mga kakilala natin, lahat ng events na alam natin, pwede mong i-introduce yung negosyo natin. Pwede kung nasa wedding ka, pwede kang mamrospect, right? Hindi lang yung outright na magpipresent ka or mga aalok. Pwede yung padahan-dahan, like telling them what you're doing. Or last week, may member ako na matay yung mother niya. Kahit sa ganong sitwasyon, you can do prospect kasi you can mention yung Everest, which is part of IMG's benefits. So with this, with all these reasons, we say that the best business in the world is money business. So we repeat, uh, our business is in demand all, all the time. So when company is good, everyone wants to know how to grow their money. Bakong kumikita ang lahat ng tao, maraming pera, maraming ipon, gusto nila malaman kung saan pwedeng i-invest yung pera na, nila para maximize yung returns. What if naman the economy is bad? So limited yung resources ng tao, since we offer a business to have additional source of income, we could show them the way. Paano magkaroon ng on top of your salary, paano ka magkaroon ng additional source of income doing IMG business? Or since um, hindi ganun kaganda yung economy, gusto ng tao with this little amount or with this limited amount of money that they have, gusto nila na uh, siguraduhin na kung saan i-invest yung pera nila with the uh, highest possible returns. 
So IMG is recession proof. Whether the economy is good or bad, and yan yung opportunity natin to do this business. And like if you sell something, di ba? Pwedeng uh, luxury na lang yan kung, uh, kung hindi yan basic need, kung gipit yung tao, hindi sila bibili. Hindi sila bibili sa'yo. So this is the vision of the new industry. We mentioned some examples here. So like ang McDonald's, uh, because of Ray Kroc, uh, binago niya yung eating habits ng mga tao. Diba? Before pa man ng fast food, ang common is yung nanay magluluto sa bahay. So dun, um, dun kumakain yung buong pamilya. But then with the changes of times, with the change through time, uh, nagmabadali lahat ng tao, busy lahat ng tao. So even the mother na usually siya yung nagluluto, ay nakakaroon na rin ng trabaho or naging career women. So, wala na yung um, wala na yung sitwasyon noon na lahat ng kakainin or lahat ng meals nasa bahay. Right? So, nauso na yung fast food. So, yun ang in-introduce ni, Mac ni McDonald's na uh, with the fast pace uh, time na halos lahat busy, dun, uh, dun nakita ni McDonald's yung opportunity. So we ask, ano ba si McDonald's? Burger store ba siya? Coca-Cola store or toy store? Kasi it even surpassed yung uh, profit or income ni Toys R Us. Si Starbucks, it changed the way people drink coffee. Di ba tayo naman parang okay na 3-in-1? Or kung hindi man yung 3-in-1 na instant, ikaw yung magbubrew sa bahay mo or... Uh, magtitimpla, may creamer ka, may sugar ka, and then may coffee ka. But then, Starbucks introduced yung the third place. Kasi ang first place, yan yung bahay natin. Yung second place is yung office. So, uh, before umuwi ng bahay, pwede kang mag-relax ka muna, di ba? Because of the ambiance. Kaya mahalang kape sa Starbucks because uh, yung presyo, nakaakibat na doon yung ambience na ino-offer nung, nung lugar. Di ba sa Starbucks, um, nakasofa ka, aircon, may wifi, pwedeng doon ka muna mag-relax before going home. And Microsoft, it changed the computer software industry. Napaka-user-friendly niya. Di ba, I remember at the time when I was in high school, yung C, ang dami pang kung ano-anong command kasi wala pang mouse. So, Lahat ng command, ita-type mo pa, cd dot dot, or magta-transfer ka ng file. Ngayon, with the mouse, very user-friendly ang Microsoft, ita-drag mo na lang, or right-click mo na lang. That's why it was really appreciated by a lot of people. And here comes IMG. So IMG, it changed the savings and spending habits of people. So, tina-transition ni IMG, like tayo, when we started in IMG, spender talaga tayo. So, because of IMG, we, to, uh, we learned how to save. And then, we also learned how to invest because there is a big difference between saving and investing. So, ang saving, you just save keep your money. Yung investing naman, you grow your money. And becoming an entrepreneur is developing uh, additional resources of income na hindi lang tayo makontento sa isa or dalawang sources ng income. It also changed the way financial distribution industry is being done. Diba, traditional agents or traditional um, financial advisors will outright uh, sell you products. So sa IMG, we first go through the mission, uh, yung sistema ni IMG, we teach people, we educate them so that they could really appreciate kung ano man yung kukunin, kukunin nila na product or investment. And with this knowledge and support that IMG gives us, andun yung we feel empowered na nandun yung confidence natin to make financial decisions. Andun yung confidence na uh, tama yung nagiging financial decisions natin. Kung saan natin ilalagay yung pera natin, magkaning allocation, anong uunahin ko, healthcare ba, insurance ba, or investments. So it says here, whoever controls distribution controls the industry. So before, decades, decades, decades ago, uh, manufacturing is the king. Pero ngayon, kahit gaano kaganda yung produkto mo, kung hindi yan madidistribute or walang magbibenta niyan, uh, lugi ka. 
So, example, yung burger ba ni McDonald's, pinakamasarap ba? Hindi naman, di ba? Pwedeng mas masarap yung gawa natin sa bahay or gawa ng nanay natin sa bahay. Pero, the good thing with McDonald's is, hindi man ganun kasarap, na sobrang sarap yung burger nila, ang dami niyang outlets or ang daming McDonald's branches na magde-distribute ng burger niya. So, new industry, we're all familiar with Uber. So, I myself, Uber passenger ako at Uber operator ako. So, it's the world's biggest transportation network and it does not own vehicles. Diba? Parang largest transportation company siya, pero hindi siya nagmamayari na kahit isang, na kahit isang um, sasakyan. Yung Facebook, it's the world's biggest social media website, pero uh, hindi siya nagkikreate ng sarili niyang content. Di ba parang uh, outsource or parang crowdsourcing nangyayari? So it just provides the platform, yung content ay binibigay nung mga Facebook users tayo. Ganun din sa YouTube, uh, hindi siya nagpo-produce ng sarili niyang movies or videos, pero siya yung pinaka-dominante um, when it comes to online video streaming or kahit sa mga videos. Di ba noon, to watch an event, kailangan mo ng TV or cable. Ngayon, um, yung iba sinistream na lang. So say for example, if you want to um, magsubaybay ka ng isang golf tournament or ng isang basketball tournament, dati nun dapat nakasubscribe ka sa cable para mapanood mo. Ngayon, ang dami ng, sa YouTube pa lang, ini-stream niya na. So, libre pa, basta may internet ka. Ganun din sa Google, wala siyang sariling content, pero it's the largest online information hub. Kaya nga na uh, very common yung term na, sige, i-Google mo na lang yan. And IMG, it's the fastest growing financial services distributor. So, wala tayong IMG insurance, IMG healthcare, or sariling produkto, we just distribute. Okay, um, check ka lang ha. I-check ko lang. Okay yung audio so far and okay yung video, right? Ha? Kasi hindi ko nakikita yung chat group natin. So, tuloy-tuloy lang ako. Or, uh, for those who know my FB account, nakasubaybay ako sa messenger ko. So, if there is something technical or something wrong is going, uh, paki-message na lang ako on my FB. So, I'll go back to my to my presentation, and let's continue. Okay. So, in doing this business, of course, dapat magkaroon tayo ng tinatawag na business mentality. So, there's a big difference between employee mentality and being a business person. Um, kasi kung employee ka, ang concern mo lang is, okay, every 15th and 30th, uh, I will be receiving something. So, hindi ka na challenge as long as you fulfill your responsibilities as an employee, as long as you deliver what is asked from you, uh, you can, parang, hindi na issue sa yo na to, lead, to deliver more kasi fix yung income, right? And like, if you have a business, magsa-start ka man sa, sa maliit, pero andun yung vision, andun yung pagiging optimistic na Gagawin ko lahat kasi I know na the more effort, the more time I exert to my business, andun yung higher probability to earn more or to, to expand and to grow my business more. So to test if we have a business mentality or an employment mentality, what if somebody offers you yung isa, uh, sisweldohan kita ng 30000 right on your first month. So, for the next 15 months, may 30,000 ka every month. Yung option to naman is, sige, you'll start with one cent a month, pero every month, that would double. So, compounded. So, tayo, at a glance, pipiliin ka agad natin yung nasa left. Oy, okay na 30,000 compared to one cent. So, if we analyze this, parang this gives us a false sense of security. Nakala natin, naka-jackpot na tayo dun sa fix. Diba, um, I worked in the government before and they always say na at least a government, secured, at least, diba, ang gobyerno naman kasi, what's the probability of closing 
an agency of the government or a department of the government. So they always tell that secured nga, fixed nga, pero look at the amount. And the probability of getting an increase, malabo. Na every year magkakaroon ka ng increase or kahit sabihin natin na every three years magkakaroon ng increase ka. Unlike on the business, since that's under your control, pwedeng i-exhaust mo lahat ng ideas mo, creativity mo, effort mo, time mo, just to make your business grow. So dito sa example natin on the right, that doubles. So in long term, di ba sabihin natin on the 15th month, hindi pa nga nga nag-1,000, 163.84 lang. Pero, if you look at it at long term, on the 30th month, naging 5 million na siya. Dito, uh, 30,000 times 30, hindi ka pa umabot ng 1 million. So, nasa 900 something thousand lang yun. So, that's also with IMG business. Hindi tayo employee ni IMG. Wala tayong fixed income, but the opportunity to really grow your business is there. Saka mag-mute lang ako ng... Uh, mag-mute lang ako, ha? So... Um, I have nothing against employment kasi I myself, employed din ako before. Uh, when I started IMG, I was working with the Philippine National Oil Company. Actually, pwede natin i-maximize both, being an employee and being a business person in IMG. So you have your fixed income, you work for 8 to 5, but at the same time, before ka pa man uh, mag-resign sa trabaho or before ka man mawalan trabaho, at least na-develop mo na yung negosyo mo. Kasi ang hirap, it's very risky really na isa lang yung source ng income natin. Kasi what if makuliti ka tayo sa work? Or what if sabihin, we margin redundant yung possession mo. So uh, last month mo na ngayon. Tapos mapapaisip ka na ko, mawawala yung sweldo ko, hindi pwede ngayon ka palang magdi-develop ng additional source of income. Ayan. So, see, the difference is almost 9 million. So, dun sa right column, we have 10.7 million. Samantalang dito sa left, may 900,000 ka lang. So, people would always ask me, kasi on, on the third, on my third year, kasi I started IMG 2007, 2010, 2011, equal ko ng income ko with, with my, with my work. So, but then, I don't mention the figure. So, if people would ask me, magkano yung kinikita mo sa IMG? So, pwedeng sabihin mo na lang na minsan, uh, equal nung income ko when I was still an employee, minsan naman may buwan na doble, may buwan naman na triple. So, people would uh, start to be curious. So, di ba, ano bang pipiliin mo? Linear income or exponential income? So, on the left column, that's active income. Uh, walang duplication. Tapos, that's linear. So, it's almost fixed. However, on the right side, being a business person, magkakaroon ka ng passive income, then power of duplication. Then, since dumodoble siya, minsan nagtitriple, exponential yung income growth mo. So, pwedeng kung itudraw mo yun sa graph, mababa on the first few years, pero on towards the end, pataas na lang siya ng pataas. So, et, kung may X-curve tayo na on the business side, meron naman tayong X-curve when it comes to our IMG business. So, kung meron tayong savings line na pataas, andun yung income line when it comes to IMG business. Yung responsibility na line naman, that would be our effort line. So, stage one, we work hard for the money. So, on the initial state, tra trabahuhin mo talaga yung IMG business mo. I remember at the time when I started, basta ang membership orientation, which we call a BPM at the time, every Friday lang. So, the rest of the days of the week, dun na ako magta-target ng lahat ng mai-invite ko. Dun ako na mag-prospect, nagko-contact, ng lahat ng magiging guests ko on a Friday night. So, from um, from Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, lahat yun puro prospecting, contacting. Kasi ang lungkot ko talaga noon, feel ko uh, malaking kasalanan kung wala akong guests. 
come Friday kasi iisa na nga lang yung session tapos wala pa akong guest. So I remember when I was starting, minimum ko tatlong guests per session. Ang dungkot ng kot ko nun kung isa lang yung guest ko or dalawa lang yung guests ko. So on the initial stage, really, we should work hard for it. On the second stage, however, effort is equal to income. Hindi na ganun katindi yung effort. Pwedeng ka, mas, um, yung effort mo on the first phase equal, pero yung income mo since may team ka na, nag-override ka na, nag-renewal or match up income ka na, med tumaas na siya. And eventually, on the third phase, kung sa usual x concept, money working for you, dito naman, uh, passive income na tayo. So, uh, you do IMG in the long term, you do the business, and you do what we teach. So, ando na interest income, maturity income. Like ako, excited na ako kasi tatlo ang, um, tatlo ang magmamature ko by 2022 or 2023 na Kaiser Healthcare. Tapos, rental properties, um, royalty income, you get overrides, and passive income also, an example of that is kung magpa-franchise ka. Kasi you have royalty income um, every month dun sa mga franchise ng business mo. So we have two choices. Sacrifice now, enjoy lifetime, or enjoy now, sacrifice lifetime. I think the latter is a better option. Ah, the first, the former is the better option. So we sacrifice now, todo effort tayo, then enjoy later on. Or sabi nga nila dun sa millennial talk, pwedeng, you can have both. Enjoy now, but then, uh, on the side, you prepare for retirement and enjoy for life. So three types of business models um, in, in the financial distribution. So the first model is, we call this yung captive agent. So I think provider, example, uh, si Fedam Life, example lang. So si provider, uh, kung itutotal natin ay 100% yan. So, kunyari, si client magbabayad ng 100,000 na premium. So, kay provider, 40% ang mapupunta. For operational expenses, 10%. Kasi syempre, uh, I think for other companies, for the traditional setup, libre yung office nila. Libre, but then, china charge since may 10% na um, kinukuha. Then, for the distribution manager, like, or division manager, yun yung parang head nila, he gets 10%. So yung payout dun sa agent, like us, if we take that for example, is 40%. So, yan yung distribution. So dito, syempre may kota, since gumagamit ka ng office, di ba, yung utilities, yung aircon, yung upa sa pwesto ni provider, hindi libre yun. So kailangan ka mag-produce, para may makuha sila for operational expenses. And may termination risk. As far as I know, for the captive agent model, kung wala kang production, three consecutive months, ito terminate yung license mo. And walang vesting rights. Pwedeng superstar ka, pero yung naput up mo na team, naput up mo na negosyo, hindi siya pwedeng um, ipasa mo na lang basta-basta sa anak mo. Walang security and walang walang equality. So, um, no security kasi yun nga, what if nagkasakit ka tapos uh, hindi mo nagawa yung pagbebenta tapos wala kang production three consecutive months. So, mati-terminate ka. And walang equality kasi, and you know, may division manager na yan, nandyan na siya before you came in. So, palagi siyang makakukuha ng 10% on your production. And with this setup, you cannot retain. Kasi what if may isang superstar ka, example, ikaw na division manager, tapos may isang superstar ka, as in sobra siya mag, um, sobra yung production niya. Pwedeng sabihan ka na, um, pwede hubang instead of 40%, 45% na lang sa akin. So since ikaw, as a division manager, alam mo naman talaga na siya yung superstar mo, para lang hindi umalis, so sabi nung, oh, sige, pagbibigyan kita, um, sige, 45%. Pero sa'yo lang yan na kasi superstar ka. Pero what if later on mag-demand siya, pwede na bang 50% sa akin? So in business sense, hindi na siya practical. So ang mangyayari niyan, yung superstar agent mo, hindi mo mariritain, magpuput up siya ng um, sarili niyang 
sarili niyang agency. So you can never get the contract of the division manager. You wait until he resigns. So walang equality. Okay, the second type is the general agency. So instead na may division manager ka, may general agency, which is like, kunyari, pinute up ng isang grupo. Okay, Mag-put up tayo ng general agency sa Makati. We rent an office, then yun yung agency. And under the general agency, yun na yung mga under nila, yung agents. So ang distribution naman doon, so papalitan nyo lang and dun sa first type. So kung dito, division, kung sa first type, division manager to, dito naman general agency. So same thing. Um, hindi ka pa rin makakaritin. Kasi what if mag-demand yung mga tao mo na they want more than 40% or they want 50%, you cannot, you cannot give that to them. Kasi, di ba, ikaw yung sa operational expenses, ikaw yung nag-put up ng agency. So again, um, there will come a time na yung agent na superstar mo, again, magde-demand yun ng increase, tapos baka increase, magde-demand ulit. Hanggang, syempre, hindi mo naman mabibigay per request niya hanggang dumipat na siya or magtatag siya ng sarili niyang agency. So the good thing with IMGS, there is equality, there is vesting rights. Diba? Equality in a sense na kung ano man yung narating ko, pwede mo rin marating. Kung ano man yung contract ko na 47%, pwede mo rin maabot yung 40, uh, 47%. And in IMG, wala tayong quota, wala tayong termination unless diba, may ginawa ka na illegal. And you have vesting rights. So why do we dedicate uh, a lot of time, a lot of a lot of effort in doing this business. Kasi we know na yung lisensya natin, kung ano man yung na-put up natin ng negosyo, pwede mong maipamana yan sa heirs mo. We have security and we have equality. And you can retain. Kasi, uh, great equalizer si IMG. There is equality. Kung ano man yung rate ko, kung ano man yung position mo, kaya mo, lang uh, kaya mo ring abutin. So dito ang distribution, ang maganda sa IMG, di ba? Um, intergenerational or hanggang sa 6 generation mo ng SMD, may overrides ka. So ito naman yung distribution. So sa provider 35%, sa atin 47% plus all the um gener SMD generation overrides. So kung ito total mo yung payout 65%. Doon sa example natin, di ba? First and second types, yung captive agent at general agency, 60% lang. So we have the highest um, payout. So everyone has the same contract. Everyone has the chance to become a senior marketing director or CEO or EBC man yan. As long as you fulfill uh, the requirements for the promotion, which is our next topic. So I promotion guidelines updated as of February 1, 2017. So, ang associate, okay, once you become a member, you are a new enrollee. Once you join own share, you are an associate. Makukuha ng, maku, makakakuha ng pin kung yung tatlo na to, yung join own share, nagawa in the next seven days from the date that the member joined. So, share is, um, you do 10 checklists and yung SMD nung bagong member na yun, pepresentahan nila nung um, benefits. So the next position is marketing director. So option one, so for this position, you have three options to qualify. So option one is five, five, thirty. So let's dissect that. So that's five members, five sales, five Kaiser sales, or five Pelham sales in 30 days. So yung 30 days rolling over. So yung five, five na to, it should be five personal recruits, five personal sales in 30 days rolling over. Option two, however, is you become an MD club. So MD club is what? 3330. Three personal recruits, three personal sales in 30 days. So MD club ka, and yung isang member mo na direct ay MD club then. So 3330 ka, at the same time, my member ka, isa dun sa tatlo mong members ay MD club then or 3330. Or the option three is, magkaroon ka ng tatlong MD club in 90 days. So, pwede mong i-target dapat per month may isa akong member na mag-MD club. But based on experience and personally, I think ang pinaka-achievable dyan or 
mas pinakamadali is yung option one. You do five personal recruits, five personal sales in 30 days. Okay, the next position for that is yung senior marketing director. So, senior marketing director is 30-30. Pero dito, kung sa marketing director, lahat dapat personal, dito naman, day shop. So, meaning, team effort siya. So, yun ang maganda sa IMG, di ba? Since may vested interest ka on your members, tulungan tayo. Unlike on a corporate setup, uh, commonly, ang nangyayari, para tumaas ka, kailangan mong itumba yung nasa, nasa taas mo or nasa baba mo para hindi sila umangat. So, dito, um, tulungan. Kasi whatever production or whatever members or sales that your member produces, it would be counted to you. So, kunyari, may lima kang, member, uh, lima kang members, yung isa 6-6, six, six, yung isa 10-10, yung isa 3-3, three, three, yung isa 2-2, two, two, yung isa 4-3. So, basta total mo lang yon na 30-30 in 90 days, so you would be promoted to senior marketing director. So, replacement leg, so isa sa mga leg mo should have 10-10 in 90 days. So, team niya, team on that leg, the entire leg, dapat ang total is 10 members, at least 10 members, 10 sales in 90 days. So, associate, marketing director, senior marketing director. So, ang senior marketing director, um, so, associate, 20%, marketing director, 37%, senior marketing director, 47%. So, 20, 37, 47. Actually, from senior marketing director up, lahat na yan 47%. That's why we say na ang senior marketing director is a permanent contract. Because once you hit 47, that's forever 47. And lahat ng mapaproduce mo na SMD, mag-override ka. So, executive marketing director is 90, 90. So, 90 members, 90 sales in 90 days. And additional requirement is dapat may tatlo kang senior marketing directors. So yung 90-90 na yan ay day shop mo plus yung day shop ng first generation mo na senior marketing directors. Ganun din when it comes to green jacket. So kung executive marketing director ka na na 90-90, mag-add ka lang ng 10-10. So magiging green jacket ka na. And CEO is 150, 150. So 150 members, 150 sales. Again, based through first, day shop mo, tsaka yung day shop ng first generation SMD mo, counted. So kung sa executive marketing director, ang requirement na number of direct SMDs ay tatlo, sa CEO naman ay anim. Then to become an executive marketing director, so 300, 300. And uh, nine direct SMDs. So, sabi dito sa baba, may one-half rule. So, sa SMD, uh, ang, yung kalahati ng points mo, which is 15-15, uh, maximum na makakount mo per leg is half of that. So, 15-15. Kunyari, may isa kang leg ang na-produce niya 2020. Sa 2020 na yon maximum mong pwedeng makount per leg is only 15-15. Ganun din when it comes to um, EMD. Sa CEO, one-third rule. So, uh, what, what if my SMD ka na nag-100-100, hanggang 50-50 lang yung pwedeng ma-count mo on that, ano, on that SMD. Kasi hindi naman pwedeng i-count lahat. Kasi what if my leg ka nag-150-150, siya nagtrabaho lahat ng 150-150, tapos ikaw rin makupromote. So, kaya may mga uh, half-rule, one-third rule na ini-implement si IMG. So again, as a review, ito yung options natin. So become a marketing director, so 5530 personal or 3MD club in 90 days. Or yung isa pang option, mag-MD club ka, then yung isa sa'yo, uh, mag-MD club then in 30 days. So we join because we believe, di ba? Uh, we believe on IMG's mission, we believe on what we teach, kaya we join IMG. And we own because we understand na kailangan ng healthcare, kailangan mag-prepare for retirement. And since we both believe and understand, it's very easy for us to share. Kasi ang hirap naman i-share ang isang bagay na hindi mo pinapaniwalaan or mahirap naman i-share yung isang bagay na hindi mo na inintindihan. So again, these are the promotion guidelines. So associate, uh, join own share, marketing director, uh, 5530, 
senior marketing director is 303090. Actually, may second option pala yung senior marketing director, which I did not mention kanina. So either 303090 days or limang limang 5530. So 55530 or limang MDs in 90 days. Kasi 5 times 5530, diba 2525 in 90 days. Executive Marketing Director, so 90-90 in 90 days. Green Jacket is 100-100 in 90 days. CEO Marketing Director is 150-150 in 90 days. So lahat ng run, magsa-start ka ng 30 days, associate hanggang MD, then the rest, SMD and up, uh, 90 days yun. So these are the promotion guidelines and illustration. So the person joins... Ang target natin is associate, then become a marketing director, then become a senior marketing director. So that's the immediate goal. So with this uh, rates, di ba, as an associate, 20%, marketing director, 37%, senior marketing, 47%. So kailangan natin i-maximize yung percent natin. Kasi ang hirap naman na 47% nga tayo, tapos wala namang minumultiply kasi walang sales na pumapasok. So, any number multiplied to zero is zero. So, yan yung mga overrides. Mag-override ka hanggang sa sixth generation SMD mo. And for the executive positions, for EMD, may 1% ka na. Bonus pool, may requirements yan. Every month mo isa submit. Then for CEO, may 1.5% na bonus pool. So, five simple ways to earn an IMG. So, limang dimensions. So, number one, you have personal income. Number two, you have override income, meaning may income ka rin dun sa mga sales na pinapasok ng team mo. You have royalty income, yan ay yung SMB to SMB na override. Then you have match-up income as a trainer, then renewal income. Second year onwards, may commission pa rin na pumapasok. So kung associate ka at 20%, ita target lang natin, what if nakaklose ka ng K50, Kaiser K50 plan, so, yung multiply mo yan sa 20%, so may commission ka na 6,000. Yung times 90%, ginayim siya ng 90% kasi may 10% na withholding tax. So, ang net mo na commission ay 3,000 times 20, so 6,000 times 90%, so 6 times na, nasa 5,400 uh, ang net mo. So, 540 times 5, so, you get to earn 540 per family or per sale close. So, mag-target ka ng 540 times 5, so 5 a sales in a month, so you get additional 2,700 a month. So, if you help 5 families every month, yung accumulated income mo niyan in a year would reach 210,600. I think as an additional or part-time income, okay na to, yung 210,600. And ang usapan natin dito, associate ka pa lang. Okay, what if marketing director? So, sa 37%, same example. So, kung doon na-associate ka, nasa 500 plus lang ang earning mo per sale, dito aabot na siya ng almost 1,000 na net commission. So, if you help 5 families every month, so that's almost 5,000 a month, or yung accumulated annual income mo is almost close to 400,000. But of course, we target to become senior marketing director. So, Diba, there is a big difference between 20% and 47%. So once you become an SMD, maximize mo yung, ano, yung rate mo. So at 47%, uh, you earn per sale na 1,269. So you earn, um, so you help five families in a month. Dito ha, five lang yung minimension natin example. Of course, you can go beyond. You can have 10 sales or even more than that a month. So if you help five families every month, yung annual income mo niya na accumulated is close to half million. So that's the first dimension, yung uh, personal income. So kung associate ka on the first month, may 27 ka, di ba yung ano to, 210,600 na accumulated annual income. So nag increase siya every month. So dun sa example natin, di ba, between an employee mentality and a business person mentality, so this is business kasi hindi siya fixed pero nag -i increase For marketing director, that's almost 400,000. And for senior marketing director, that's uh, close to half million. 
So again, these are just examples. As a business person, you can go, go beyond or higher than this. Kasi walang nagdi-dictate sa'yo or nagli-limit sa'yo na hanggang dito ka lang. Di ba? Of course, employment, hindi mo pwedeng mas mataas yung sweldo mo kaysa sa manager mo or kaysa sa presidente. Dito naman, pwedeng uh, senior marketing director ka, pero yung kita mo, pwedeng mas mataas sa senior marketing director kung masarami kang sales na nako-close. So let's say you are a marketing director, your associate in a team help five families for one month. So ito yung sinasabi na override income, which is the second way to earn income in IMG. So yung 17%, saan niya nakuha? Diba? As a marketing director, 37% ka, yung associate mo 20%. So ang difference is 17%. So kahit ang nakaklose ay yung associate mo, may 17% ka na override sa kanya. So that's an override of 459 pesos per sale. So since lima yung nakaklose ng associate mo a month, so that's a total of 2,295 a month. Or in a year, that's 27,540. So that's a form of passive income kasi override mo yan eh, sa associate mo. Or what if your associate in a team help five families every month? So ang accumulated incentive mo niyan is 179,210 a year. Uh, Tinimes five natin kasi uh, limang families every month. So that's override. So, saan nakuha yung 17%? So, MD ka, 37%. Yung associate, 20%. So, that's a 17% override. What if naman SMD ka, ang, ang override mo sa associate mo is 47 minus 20. So, that's 27%. So, of course, mas mataas. Kasi SMD ka na. So, dito, ang accumulated annual incentive mo, on the same example to the preview, so dito, magiging siyang 284,000 310. So, people would ask, Marjun, uh, wag ko na lang i-promote yung associate ko para ang override ko sa kanya maximum, which is 27%. Compared kung mag-MD siya, magiging 17% na lang. That's wrong. Kasi syempre, iba yung production ng marketing director compared sa associate. 17% man yan, pero mas marami likely na ipapasok na sales ang marketing director compared to a new associate. So, team override income. So, example, SMD, mag-override ka sa MD mo. So, 10%. But then, so, 270 per family. So, 1,350 times 12 months kasi 5 yung nakaklose ng marketing director mo. So, that's 16,200 a year. So, in ang accumulated annual incentive mo niyan is 105,300. But on this example, again, ang marketing director, usually more than 5 sales yan. Okay, so in summary, this is your potential annual income. So sa lahat ng na-mention natin examples, ito yung summary. So may five associates ka, so 300,645 a month. Yung limang MDs mo, ito yung override mo. Of course, never ever forget your personal your personal income. Dapat nagko-close ka rin ng, ano, ng, um, ng sariling sales mo. Hindi pa rin, ay, matutulog na lang ako. Uh, kasi masisipag naman yung mga MDs ko and associates. Hindi pwede yon. So, helping five families every month. What if uh, may lima kang associates? So, in a year, that's 1.4 million. So, five MDs mo, that's half million in total. Then, of course, your personal income, 494,810. So, you can earn as much as, you know, 2,442,860. So, if you earn that income, at least uh, minimum sapphire ring earner ka now, which is the ring that I have now. So, tinatarget ko is yung sunod, yung red or ruby, which is like mga 2 point something million, 2.5 million. So, what would you do if you earn this extra income? So, ito na gagamitin natin to build our financial foundation and to create our passive income, di ba? Either to so mag-invest tayo sa mutual funds plus develop a passive income like rental income or bili ka ng sasakyan tapos ipo-Uber mo or Grab. So, those are your options. Basta ang importante lang, yung extra income natin dito, extra na yan. So, huwag natin i-shopping. Dapat it would help us to really uh, build our financial foundation and to build our passive income long term. So, the third thing mentioned is yung um, intergenerational royalty income. 
So, di ba, 47% to 47%, dapat zero na. So, ang maganda sa IMG, may overrides ka rin sa mga SMDs mo. So, sa direct mo na SMD, 5.5%. SMD ng SMD mo, so second generation, 3%, 2%, 1%, 0.7%, 0.5%, and so on. Ah, hanggang sixth generation. So, di ba, parang naging McDonald's ka na na may royalty income ka per outlet, which is equivalent to your SMD. So, on this um, third dimension of income, pwedeng ito yung in-earn nila. So, yung example natin ng the previews. So, with this, ganitong SMDs mo may hanggang through six pa. So, at least ang total mo, intergenerational income lang yun. Ha? So, that's almost more than half million. So, dito natin ma-appreciate na sige, trabahuin ko ang IMG, IMG mag-produce ako na mag-produce ng SMDs, tulungan ko yung, mag -SM, yung SMDs ko na mag-produce din ng SMD. At least, um, may, ano ako, may intergenerational override ako. So, would you like to own a business with this income? Of course. So, that's why we really um, have to maximize our business. So the last um, dimension of earning in IMG is yung tinatawag na match-up system. So yung trainee, ito yung, uh, di ba, bagong member. Wait lang. Okay. Um, what if bagong member? Siyempre yung bagong member, um, hindi pa marunong mag-present. So ikaw yung magiging trainer niya. So, ang trainee builds trust, builds trust. Yung trainer naman, yun siya yung ano, more on the technicalities so that the prospect will understand. And the prospect makes decision. So, between the trainee and the prospect, that's trust. Between the trainer and the prospect, yun yung understanding. Kasi yung trainer yung mag-explain. So, mission first before commission. Kasi kung commission ang focus natin, makikita yan sa ating mga mata. So, let's say you are an MD and you train an associate. So, ang figure dito, ganito lang sa match up. So, since dalawa kayo, so example, naka-close kayo ng K50. So, ang premium niya is 3,000. So, yung 3,000, i-divide sa 2 or times 50%. So, 3,000 divided by 2, 1, 5. So, sa associate, 20% times 90% kasi may withholding tax. So that's 270 times 5, so that's 1,350 a month, or in 12 months, so that's 16,200 a year. So yung income ng trainee, if that uh, that trainee helps five families every month, so that's almost 5,300 per year. So dito, mayroong income both si trainer and trainee. So fair naman, bakit may match up? Kasi unfair naman kay trainer na ginagamit yung time niya ni trainee tapos wala siyang kita. Otherwise, kung walang match-up, aabusuhin ni trainee si trainer na kinukuha yung time niya pero si trainee lang ang kumikita. Kasi you can never question yung override. Hindi mo pwede sabihin na uh, wag mo na ako yung match-up total, nag-override ka naman. So that's, um, that's separate. So before pa man tayo uh, pumunta sa IMG, may over, nandiyan na yung override nila. So again, 50% of something is better than 100% of nothing. Kasi may mga bagong associate na, sige, ako na lang, um, ako na lang magpipresent para hindi na match up. What's the probability of closing that deal kung wala pa tayong masyadong alam? So again, 100% diba, of zero is better than, ah, 150% kalahati man ng isa kesa 100% nga pero wala kasi hindi mo na-close. Okay, kung MD ka naman as a trainer, I think potential income mo. So, dinivide yung 3,000. So, 1,500 times your rate, 37%. So, 500 per sale. So, 5 sales a month. So, that's 2,500 a month. So, in a year, that's 30,000. So, as a trainer, your income helping 5 families every month is 195,000. Again, 50% of something is better than 100% of nothing. What if SMD ka tapos associate? So, of course, 47% as an SMD, so that would yield the highest, um, the highest earning. So dito, on the same examples, previous two examples, 
kung SMD ka, yung annual accumulated incentive mo is 247,630. So, match up to catch up. Okay. So, trainer, trainee. So, ang SMD, um, 47%. Tapos si MD, 37%. So again, ang formula lang dito is, um, yung paid premium, i-divide nyo sa 2. Tapos whatever the quotient is, i-multiply mo dun sa rate ni trainer or sa rate ni trainee. Renewal income. So this is last. Sorry, ito pa yung last. So yung renewal income naman is, ito yung... Um, may commission ka pa rin. Say for example, ang Kaiser, di ba, 7 years to pay. So, sa first year, um, meron kang 47%, 47 pero on the second to seventh year onwards, meron ka pa ring incentive, which is 3.6%. What I know is 4% eh. So, lahat ng na-close ng day shop mo, uh, kahit sale nila, kahit hindi mo match up, and including your personal, ikaw lahat ang kukuha ng renewal income. So I really encourage a lot of people na maging SMD kasi yung fifth na they mentioned to earn, which is renewal income, is for SMDs lang po. Ayan, so example, um, second year, ito yung 3.6% yung na renewal income. So kung ito total mo yan for seven years to pay ang Kaiser, di ba? At least still you have 227,448. So that's why we really say na multi- streams or multidimensional ang income sa IMG. And like sa employment, di ba, no work, no pay. Hindi ka magtrabaho, lalo na kung wala ka ng leave credits, walang ano, walang papasok na pera. So five simple ways to earn IMG to summarize. So we discuss personal income, override income, royalty incomes, intergenerational income, match-up income as trainer, and renewal income. So, I think system flow natin na ini-implement ngayon. So, 10 membership, sorry, hindi na pala siya updated, 18 membership benefits. So, from these benefits, orientation, then financial checkup of partners training, then we encourage them to do workshop 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ang first day mention niyan is to do prospect list, then join, own, share. Yung second dimension is yung approach. Anong gagamitin natin pag approach yung membership benefits. And then from that presentation of membership benefits, do natin makukuha yung sale. And then from the workshops, do yung financial education. The third dimension is yung benefits, di ba? Checklist para malaman natin kung anong gusto or kung anong interest ng prospect natin among all the benefits. Then, to access all those benefits, kailangan niya maging partner. Or to do the business, kailangan niya maging partner. Then, doing financial checkup, dun niya maintindihan ano ba yung uh, product na makakasolve ng financial concern ko or problem ko. Then, attending workshop, ito yung makakaritain sa mga tao natin. Kasi series siya, di ba? One, two, three, four, five. And attending once is not enough. So the fourth day mention is mission. Then after the membership orientation, dun na natin mas um, na develop yung belief natin na we really have to do something with our finances. Then we commit. After the financial checkup, we commit to execute. Kung ano man yung dapat gawin natin, and we follow kung ano man, uh, ba? Sa workshop, dun natin malalaman ano ba yung kailangan natin gawin. So the fifth dimension, so we're getting deeper, so yung proceed natin about to help every Filipino family to create wealth, realize their dream, then uh, create a winning team. And then the sixth dimension is, about we share these benefits because we care, then we develop trust to them because we love them and we build with them. Okay, um, so ito yung flow kung gusto nating ma-promote. Example, um, so week one, mag-checklist ka, then ng sampo, then target natin na at least dun sa sampo, 
lima ang mapa membership orientation natin and sa limang nag-attend may isa kang member then mag financial check up siya dun mo makukuha yung isang sale then sa workshop pag attend ng member sa yo dun ka makakuha ng additional five prospects from that new member on the week two imo uh, gagawin mo ng uh, im since lima na kayo di ba itong five prospect list na to it's a checklist mo sila. So hanggang mag-compound siya. So uh, this business is a numbers game business. So the more checklists that we have, diba dati nun, the more surveys that you have. Ngayon, ang labanan is checklist, 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 checklist. Because with these checklists, dun mo ma-introduce yung benefits. Then if you introduce the benefits, dun mo sila mapapajoin sa IMG. After they join, sunod-sunod din, work siya, um, financial check up then workshop so dun mo rin makukuha yung sale mo so with this um again uh, thank you very much for um giving me the opportunity to share to you kung ano yung income potential na pwedeng i-offer natin sa IMG as for me having experienced traditional businesses dun ko mas na appreciate si IMG kasi ang labanan dito pasipagan hindi patalinuhan and this is a business that we help people help themselves. So again, uh, there are no limits on our income potential in IMG, so we dictate our own limits.